Hi everyone, it's Simon Keeling here at weatherweb.net and it's Tuesday the 17th of February. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget if you want to forecast for the next couple of days, check out Gary's fast forecast. But this is your look ahead video. Just focusing on the uh, CFS today um, because it's so similar uh, to the ECMWF32 output that's just been released or the 32 is so similar to the CFS, whichever way around you want it really. Uh, this is week one and CFS predicting low the normal heights towards the north, look here the higher the normal heights down towards the south. Into uh, week two, uh, so we find, look, the low the normal heights here to the north, higher the normal to the south. There's that strengthening jet look pulling its way south of the UK. So this is between the 24th of February and the 2nd of March, showing us more unsettled, more windy conditions, the risk of some gales uh, for many of us. And it looks as if this deterioration taking place during this weekend and into next week as that jet slips southwards. But the developing theme has been of high pressure trying to get back in. This is week three, which takes us from the 3rd of March to the 9th of March. Here's the higher than normal heights. Look, lower than normal to the north. There's the jet during that week. Yes, still through the country. Um, but the higher than normal heights building back into the south, indicating that we start off wet and windy for most. But then up comes the high, the pressure building from the south. And then by week four, look, the high is well and truly established trough out in the Atlantic. There's the ridge look through the British Isles, dragging in this air from the east or the southeast. Now, super critical really is going to be the direction that that wind takes, because that would dictate how warm or how cool it's going to be. And as I say, um, essentially the ECMWF32 output is virtually the same as this. Temperature wise, at the moment, the CFS seeing a dip in temperature as that high gets in. Look, here it is there during the middle part of March. Then it shifts wind direction in here, look, uh, mid-March onwards. So basically what it's doing is bringing easterlies here and then it brings more southerlies here. You see the effect of that, where the easterlies bringing us temperatures sort of 8 degrees by day, something of that order. But then the southerlies bringing in sort of 11s and 12s. It could probably be warmer than this. Remember, this is just the mean of the ensemble. But this is where the high pressure is building in from. So it's seeing this... Uh, temperature change through March which of course is essentially what you'd expect to see isn't it and it's picking it up as well on the rainfall charts this is week one going up to the 23rd and the blue colours here showing us where the wettest of conditions are and for this week it's towards the north and the west obviously because of that jet stream developing from the west Week two, so uh, for next week, running to the 2nd of March everywhere basically but the jet through here look that's where the wettest conditions are Week three, things starting to improve, still pretty wet towards the north and west, but look, dry conditions developing here. And then week four, the result of that high pressure area look, which is going to be in here somewhere, uh, showing by the uh, white colours there, completely dry conditions. Look at that, the jet stream though, through here, through the med, that's where wetter weather is, so quite an unsettled middle part of March for the med. Week 5 up to the 23rd of March, high pressure still holding on here. And this is that southwesterly and southerly wind starting to pick up. It's that one that I showed you uh, is bringing the milder conditions. Then the break starts right at the very end of the month, 30th of March. Look, uh, start to see wetter conditions arriving towards the west, then later towards the east. But still looking like March having started off and settled actually isn't going to be too bad a month. So an early taste of spring, which I think you'll agree we all need. Uh, anyway, I'll leave you with that for now. Uh, but don't forget, we can send you an email when this video is updated. Just email the address that's on the screen now. Send us just a blank email and we'll add you onto our list. As I said uh, previous days, don't worry, we don't bombard you with a load of rubbish. Uh, we will just tell you when the video is updated. So thanks for watching. Whatever you're doing, have a great day and keep the sun shining. Bye for now.